thing that you'll learn and you'll see when you come here to Rum Fest is you'll find that rum is uh, not only a diverse spirit, but it's also a lifestyle, it's a culture. Every single one of these rums are made in tropical places and they're all in part they're part of their, their knowledge, they're part of their history and their heritage uh, to each rum. So it's like you're in a piece of uh, Barbados when you drink a Bayesian rum, you're in a piece of Cuba when you drink a Cuban rum, you're in Trinidad when you sip a Trinidadian rum. So it's part of the culture and that's what Rum Fest is about and that's why we do this festival. So today in our stand what we're going to be doing is a flight of cocktails. We wanted to showcase our aged portfolio because, let's face it, when people think about Bacardi, most people think we're just white rum. But actually, we've got an amazing aged styles of rum. So we've got a delicious eight-year-old, tasty black and a great gold. So we teamed up with three of the top bartenders of London to come up with some bespoke serves that um, not only showcase the rum, but the bars that they work in as well. Don't sit there mumbling, talking trash. If you want to have a bar, you got to go out and spend some cash and let the good time roll now. I'm talking about the good time. We chose the Duffy Share because the Duffy Share is the rum take, the Caribbean take on the Angel Share. Now the Angel Share is a whiskey term and they believe that when the whiskey is aging in the barrels, some of that whiskey evaporates and goes to the Angels. But in the Caribbean, they don't think that's the case. They think these crazed spirits called Duffies come along, steal the rum and then go off and have a massive party. trying to display today is actually when you go up in age statements it's not just adding more oak it's not just giving it more depth these are all different people they've got different flavors different characteristics and with that you can do different things so if you think with our five-year-old which is kind of one of our main things which is column still rough this is something that's going to go with your pineapple juice your orange juice your ginger beer and it's not just going to back up, it's going to have a little bit of a presence. And then you start looking at the eight-year-old, which we now put in 15% pot still. So that starts to work really well with your more kind of depth flavoured drinks. So your rum old fashions, your Manhattans, and it's going to play really well on things like vermouth, bitters, absinthe. Um, but this starts to take over being the star of the show. Talking trash! If you want to have a ball, you got to go out and spend some cash. And let the good time roll now. So we've, we've gone big guns today. We've built ourselves Elton John's shed, Elton John Golden shed, and we've pulled out some really, really, really rare expressions. We've got a, a one of only 300 bottles of a 25-year-old Trinidadian rum that's finished in 70-year-old cognac casks. We've got one of only 42 bottle allocation of, uh, in the UK of a pineapple rum. Um, pineapple rum use the macerating skins and pulp separately and redistilling it. It's an incredible recreation of mid-1800s um, rum style.